Hi, my name is Bala Renfro, and this is my video for the case study, case three, Talent Acquisition Group at HCL Technologies, Improving the Quality of Hire Through Focused Metrics. So HCL was one of the fastest growing IT companies and was located in Noida, India. HCL was a $6.3 billion company by 2013 and was featured among Forbes list of Asia's fab companies. They had over 90,000 employees, all among 31 countries. HCL services included enterprise transformation, software-led IT solutions, business process outsourcing, remote infrastructure, engineering and research, and development services. CEO Vineet Nayar implemented a radical strategy of employee first, customer second, leading to having the reputation and brand of HCL to grow in stature greatly. His strategy promoted an internal culture of trust and transparency. This culture impacted employee relationships by supporting the transparency of information sharing among employees and built an entrepreneurial mindset and spirit in each employee that aided in their decentralized decision making. This strategy affected the financial performance of the organization significantly. Revenue per employee increased about $10,000 over a five-year span. Revenues tripled within five years. Even customer satisfaction increased. Pradivi Shergill was the Chief Human Resources Officer at HCL Technologies. From 2011 to 2013, Shergill had transformed HCL's talent acquisition initiatives but was unsure if the achievements really represented the strategic function he wanted, or if it was actually delivering results from aligning itself with the business goals of HCL Technologies. Naveen Narayanan was the Global Vice President of TAG. When he joined HCL in 2012, he found that their talent acquisition was aligned with their three lines of business. This included software infrastructure and BPO. They had about 250 active recruiters working on the recruitment process. The case explains how the different processes implemented by HCL and Marion and his team led a big change in the way hiring activities are performed and changed the recruitment processes followed by HCL. They also discuss how the changes in recruitment and hiring impacted profits as well as a decrease in the attrition rate and overall employee bonding. HCL wanted to focus on its main issues, which are the manpower utilization and minimizing bench strength. Employee costs were over 70% of operating costs, which meant that they would have to reevaluate their talent management operations. The case discusses how Mary Yenon and his team drove and transformed the hiring recruitment process. Previously following a silo approach, there was no true clarity between recruitment teams. The change management initiative was aimed at standardization of payment and invoicing through the company. This implemented the change through ITAP, which, stand, which stands for Ideapreneurship Talent Acquisition Platform and increasing the capability of the recruiter co community within TAG through the Hunter Premier League gamification. These steps lead to a large increase in majority of profits. Their objectives were to improve the quality of hire, innovative method of talent acquisition, design a focused matrix of, ta of talent acquisition, quick decision-making, increase overall profitability, and focus on just-in-time hiring. Each business line focused on campus recruiting, lateral hiring, and different geographic regions. The 250 recruitment workers were isolated from each other. This created issues like candidates being interviewed by different departments, candidates competing with each other over interview slots, and a lot of confusion and wasted resources. There were still limitations in TAG's realignment of the re recruiting experience. 
It didn't improve the experience for all critical stakeholders. There should have been more drastic changes to overcome the losses and improve the efficiency of both resources and employees. The ITAP metric was the most relevant metric used. It increased the quality of hire and was a great way to assess company performance. It also aligned with the strategic outcomes of the company. POFU gamification was a recruitment function that used a thumb rule approach using the average rent rentage ratio to mitigate the risk of rentage by releasing extra offers. The gamification improved resource utilization and minimized bench strength. It quickly became important to better understand this gamification. TAG used analytics from this gamification whose design elicited high engagement level for potential hires. This also allowed the TAG team to identify individual skills, experience level, location, and project teams that were more likely to renage. The last possible solution to improve quality of talent acquisition is to reframe what makes a quality hire. The new pre-hiring panel that was made has structured interviewing, interviewing certification programs, background verification, and reference checks. Post-hire outcome measures job performance, employee turnover, early aborts, person, organization, a job fit assessment. The business has to maintain a balanced approach when hiring employees. The hiring should not be too late or too early than needed for the business. This would have ne negative implications on the organization in terms of costs or losses for the business. HCL achieved centralization by building a standardized process of hiring across their company. All hiring teams used a common enterprise class debate and workflow engine. Significant projected cost savings were achieved through efficacy building, reducing turnaround time, and reducing the bench time.